John, welcome to Bradford City here on loan until the end of the season. How does it feel to be here? I'm really excited to be here. It's a big opportunity for myself and I'm looking forward to playing some games and hopefully chasing the promotion. Talk to us about the last few days. It's been a bit hectic, bit of a whirlwind. Obviously, you first heard about it on deadline day, but I guess now you're just pleased to be here and have it all out of the way. Yeah, it was really hectic. I never thought that would be something that I would ex experience myself, um, but I was in bed uh, at 6 p.m. and then I get a phone call saying Bradford are ready to put in an offer and that was something I couldn't refuse. How pleased are you to be here and what was it that drew you to Bradford City when you first saw the interest? What was it that made you want to come here? Obviously, everyone knows the size of the club. Uh, it's a massive club with big ambitions. Um, and like I said earlier for myself, I want to play games. I want to play important games as well. And I think that's a, a good experience for me. You were at the game on Saturday at Mansfield. A few people may or may not have spotted you in the crowd. What did you think to that game and, and seeing your new team in action for the first time? I definitely think it's a good foundation. Uh, you know, we looked very solid. I don't think we ever looked like conceding. Um, so it's definitely something big to build from. You've just spoken to the gaffer there for the first time this morning as well. How much of an attraction was he and that initial conversation? How was that first and foremost? Yeah, obviously, I think we get on very well. Um, he's, he just seems very composed and knowledgeable. Um, so I think it's going to be great for me to learn off of him. We know you're a defender. What kind of a player would you describe yourself as for, for people who have maybe not seen you before in action? I've always considered myself a ball playing centre back. Uh, so I like being really comfortable on the ball. I'm not afraid to step in or make those kind of passes through the lines. That's what I enjoy doing most. Obviously, I'm a defender, so that's the first thing. That's the priority. Um, and I, I fancy my athleticism, so I, I'm not happy. Or I'm, <laughs> I'm not scared to run in behind or anything like that. Watching the game on Saturday, were you comfortable with what you saw in terms of what you could potentially bring to the side in that sense you've described what you're about? Do you think that there's areas for you to bring a little bit of your game to Bradford City? Obviously, I think, you know, everyone comes with different experiences. I've played in different countries. I came from America um, and then obviously coming through the academy at Norwich, maybe we learn different things to what people will be taught here. But that's a good opportunity for me to learn from the players here as well. I was going to come on to that. Talk to us about your career so far because it's not too common for what you would see over here from a player in an English academy, spent the last few years at Norwich, but obviously started your career over in America, fairly cultured in that sense. Yeah, I think it's a very different career path for sure. Uh, in America, they're very big on, on playing out the back. Everyone wants to play the pretty stuff. Um, and then you come over to England where it's just so much more physical. Um, and obviously at Norwich, they still play good football. So I always kind of had a nice little balance to it. Um, Obviously, coming down into, into League Two, it's going to be a bit more rough for me, but I think that's good. I had a little bit of that last year as well when I was on loan at Stevenage, um, and so I just want to be the most complete player I can. You mentioned Stevenage there as well, obviously, tasted success at the end of the season, part of a promotion winning side. How was that as an experience like you see, like you say, experiencing the other side of the game to perhaps what you're used to a little bit? Uh, I would definitely say it was a mixed experience. I don't think I played there as much as I would have liked to uh, or expected to, but it was a great experience. Obviously, they won promotion, which is it's, it's something big. Some players never see that. Um, and learning off of those boys, it's, you know, it's a completely different style of football here. Um, so there were plenty of lessons in there for me, for sure. I guess being a part of that winning environment and being a part of that culture will help you and has kind of helped your career in that sense, whereby you sort of have experienced firsthand now what it takes to be successful and what it takes to be promoted, particularly out of this division as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one thing about me is I don't mind pressure. And, and kind of, as I mentioned earlier, I love games that are important. I want everything to have some meaning to it. And so that's, that's what you get in first team football and professional football. And obviously when you're chasing promotion, the pressure is just that much more. You've played in front of big crowds at Norwich. We've noticed coming here to a team where you mentioned the word pressure, 15,000 season ticket holders, crowds of 16, 17,000 plus in the league. Is that the kind of thing you relish, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, it's kind of what you dream about as a kid, playing in front of big crowds, playing in front of passionate people, because at the end of the day, we're all, we're all fans ourselves. Um, and so I just want to go out there and, and deliver a performance and make people happy. First game this weekend, Grimsby Town at home, live on Sky Sports. I guess it's a, a decent place to start for you. Big occasion for sure. Looking forward to getting started. You got a final message for those supporters that will be looking forward to seeing you? You know, I'm going to give everything for it. I'm, gonna, I'm always going to give my all. Uh, I'm really excited to be here and I think we're going to go big places.